Chris, the dating doc with a dating doc raw. This drop, okay, look. Modern dating, modern dating is becoming so much of a joke to itself, but this doesn't just magically happen. It's not like like there's some there's some black cloud over dating that, that just magically transformed. No, it's the people, it's the people nowadays and how programmable we are. We are so predictable and programmable. Okay, it's just like just like a computer program. X plus Y equals Z. You piss the crowd off, you do a viral video equals lots of comments or, or, or you get them viral or people are on the side of the left and the right. Look, it's to the point that when you scroll through, uh, you know, you're doing your swipes through Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, any of those, you already see what the current people are like. Take, for example, instead of saying, hey, look, I'm, you know, I'm looking for someone who has good conflict resolution skills, communicates, takes care of their body. No, no. It's some mess like swipe left if you believe in, in wearing masks or, or swipe right if you voted for this fool or that fool. Nothing about let's see how we vibe, right? It's kind of like the new age version of must love dogs. Okay, you love a dog, but guess what? You're still an asshole, but you love a dog. But this other guy, he's not really about the dogs because maybe he's allergic to dogs. But okay, he's cool. He, he's got some swagger. You like him. Oh, but he don't love dogs. I mean, people are so um, close-minded, narrow-minded, I should say. And it baffles me. It baffles me because it does not matter how much academia you got. It doesn't matter if you got a graduate degree, PhD, people are acting like buffoons out here. I, I don't understand how all of a sudden, because again, we're so programmable, all of a sudden is the news stuff that matters, right? Your brain is so crowded on news and politics and social justice movements that that becomes your entire personality. That becomes, you know, it's all about hashtag whatever movement. It's not about let me work on myself. Let me let me get some good uh, topics going when it comes to dating. No, no. From the get go, they load you up with the who you vote for. Do you believe in BLM? Do you look? Who are you? Not the movement. Who are you? Come on, folks. Like, wake the hell up. And the sad part is, I'm using the 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 wake part, but people are like, oh oh oh, does that mean you woke? No, a lot of y'all say you're woke, but you're still asleep. You're still in that circle of being programmable as much as you would like to say you're woke. Because if you are woke, if you are truly, truly, truly woke, wouldn't you be respectful of other people's views, even if they disagree with you, and then you respectfully tell them about your view while listening to them? Isn't that woke? Because when I think of woke, I think of truly, truly awakened spiritual folks like Buddhist monks, you know, Mother Teresa, MLK. These are folks that have ascended levels of human behavior, right? But everyone likes to throw in that woke part. It, it just throws me off, right? But really, what I mean is y'all need to wake the heck up. Instead of saying, hey, what coffee spot do you want to try? Now it's like, oh, wait, you ain't down for the movement? We, we got to talk about this. Oh, 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 we, we're going to have an argument about what, what happened on the news. Like, at, when did we get to this point? I mean, I, I get it. We know it's the advent of, of social media. We know it's the fact that information is just out there consistently being pounded in your head. But the dating game, the fact that it infiltrated the dating game, which deals with sex, it deals with courtship, it deals with relationship, possible marriage, Matter of fact, for some, dating is their way to socialize. It should be an escape, an escape from these movements that define you. Some of you use entire identity is based on a hashtag, either in defense or against it or whatnot. What's going to happen? What's going to happen if we keep going down that road? No one wants to communicate anymore until you've hit a five-page checklist Right, a five page. Hey, do you believe in all these movements? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Oh, you said no right here. It ain't gonna work. 
well, wait a minute, this person's attractive. This person's got a good value system. They actually want something long-term, but oh, oh, they don't believe in rights for German shepherds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't, they, they're good with the chihuahuas, but they don't believe in uh, German shepherds needs rights. So I, I don't like this person. I mean, that that's ugh, the buffoonery. And the crazy thing is, I mean, I ain't got a lot of views. Right? I need to get viral one day, right? But people are going to come at me and be like, oh, so you don't think this movement matters? You don't think that? No, fool. It does not have to be mutually exclusive. I can believe in a movement and still hear someone out. I can believe in the movement and still give someone a chance from the opposite side if they're not an asshole. If they know how to communicate and, and still want to go on dates and there's sexual attraction and, and, and emotionally we're gelling, right? We're compatible. But okay, there's a few differences there. We can work on that. But but now it's like you think you're sleeping with the enemy. Sleeping with the enemy to the point you forget, if you're listening from the U.S., you forget you're a U.S. citizen just like someone else. Hell, you even forget you're human. Some of you treat each other like, like below animals because they're part of another movement. I'm telling you right now. Truly, truly, truly wake up and snap out of it. Okay? If the world ended and you had no social media, if you had none of the six major media companies pounding all the stuff in your head, it's all going to be about survival and community. It's all about getting together and surviving together against all odds. Okay? If you don't, we don't survive. That, that, that's it. So when you got the politics running in your head to the point that you prevent yourself from dating someone because they're opposite, even though their value system as a human, as what you want in a partner is in line, but you don't get down with their politics, you missed out on possible connection. You're delaying the fact that maybe you want to make kids, maybe you do want to be in a relationship, or maybe you just want some good, you know, little friends or benefit, but you're preventing yourself based on some outside stuff, the news a politician. And, and the sad part is some of you that claim you're woke are truly going to stay asleep. And those that are against woke movements will also stay asleep. They will stay bickering. They'll stay fighting because anger, when it feeds you, it controls you. The media plays on that. You are all getting played. And the sad part is some of y'all get angry. You, you're going to get angry at me. Look at the mirror. Look at the person in the mirror. You are so twisted up to the point that you're going to get angry at me. Oh, 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 he's one of those. He must not be part of this movement or not. No, fool. No, I'm trying to get you to realize that these external influences are getting to the point where you are no longer yourself. And if I see another damn Tinder profile or, or Bumble or Hinge that says, if you voted for such and such, swipe left or right, you a damn fool. Damn fool. Because what you're saying is, I'm already in opposition. I'm already coming from a combative mindset. I don't care about you as a person. Oh, I just care about who you voted for. What the hell does that mean? You vote for someone, then all of a sudden they automatically, the, the kind of partner you need to be with? Get out of here. This is Chris the Dating Doc signing out. Click and subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Peace.